best kept secrets travel. Especially in these selling situations, these people come across as friends and they put you at ease. Sometimes you can be put into a false sense of security and then make unnecessary risks that you shouldn't. You have to remember to look after yourself because at the end of the day, these people aren't going to look after you. They are not actually your friend, even if they come across yeah. as your friend. Only you and possibly your family. Yeah, and we've been to countries where, you know, yourself. the new iPhone is the equivalent of a third of a yearly income to some people we've met. If not, actually, I've been to some countries where an iPhone's more than the yearly income. And it's just, you need to sometimes put yourself in the perspective of their shoes. As bad as it sounds, you need to think, right, what on me do I have? that is stupidly valuable to other people. I've even been in shops with you making sure that I take a purposely cheap phone just in case I, in case something happens or if someone, someone even pickpockets me. I think one yeah. of the funniest things I've done was when we were in Brazil, I bought a really old Blackberry. The only thing I put on the whole phone was in the, I didn't even put a password on it as a joke. Only thing I put in there was in the messages I saved. No, I saved a contact. I'm not going to say the word, but it was BPU for taking my phone. And that was the only thing in my whole Blackberry. And it didn't get stolen. No one stole it, but I just thought in my head, if someone steals my phone, that's the only thing that's going to be in there if I get pickpocketed or just like stupidly mugged. I just thought that'd be a funny thing. And what do. if they only spoke Portuguese? They might look up what it means. Hopefully they know what it means if they're trying to steal phones off people.